All right, what's up everybody? You know what I am here to do, which is give you the latest in science and health news. And today we are gonna be talking about the big day, um, April 8th of 2024. There seems to be a lot going on that day. So let's go over a few things that are going on. First thing, well, we all have heard about the solar eclipse. It's gonna be a total solar eclipse, which means that it's going to go from day to night for a little bit. Um, can you call out for work? I don't think so. <laughs> so on the day of the um, apparent solar eclipse, we also have news of CERN activating the Large Hadron Collider. Okay, what are they up to? Let's go over it. So on April 8th, they are going to try to open up a portal. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So I'm reading off of an article from the CERN website. Um, this article is from February of 2024. Let me just read a little bit about what's going on because the Large Hadron Collider is not only going to be activated on April 8th, it's also going down on October 6th. Oh, and by the way, I do have the sources in the description box if you would like to check out the links. So it says here, the expectations for 2024 are high. I, I skipped a lot. <laughs> Firstly, in LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, the focus is on luminosity production with proton-proton collisions, aiming at an unprecedented accumulation of luminosity of up to 90 FB to the negative one. I believe that's femtobarns. If you know um, nano, then a little bit smaller is pico, then a little bit smaller than that is femto. The 2024 LHC run will conclude with lead-lead collisions. The first lead ions will be injected into the LHC on October 6. The 2024 run is scheduled to end October 28th. Physics in Isold, the facility in the the French-Swiss border, you know. Physics in Isold, downstream of the PS booster, will start on April 8th, followed by the SPS North Area on April 10th. The antimatter factory is set to start delivering antiprotons to its experiments on April 22nd. The AWAKE facility behind the SPS will run for 10 weeks in total in blocks of two or three weeks until the middle of September when the dismantling of the no longer used CERN neutrinos to Grand Sasso target facility will start to allow for future extension of the awake facility. All right, and just to be clear, um, it says earlier in the article that the downstream machines are the PS booster, the PS, the SPS, and the LHC, the large Hadron Collider. All of the, the lingo, I don't understand all of it. I did not major in physics. <laughs> if someone can, can explain all of that, that would be fantastic. So there's a couple things going on this year when it comes to CERN. In another article from the Daily Mail, um, I'm reading here, it says the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator is set to smash protons together on April 8th to search for invisible particles secretly powering the universe. So I'm gonna skip a little bit around to get to the meat and potatoes, of course. The LHC works by smashing protons together to break them apart and discover the subatomic particles that exist inside them and how they interact. Oh, the team will be on a hunt for dark matter, which makes up around 28% of our massive universe but it has never been seen or proven of. It says scientists believe that a fraction of a second after the Big Bang that gave birth to the universe, an invisible energy field called the Higgs field formed. As particles pass through the field, they picked up mass, giving them size and shape and allowing them to form the atoms that make up you, everything around you and everything in the universe. Gave birth to the universe. Ah, 
It's like what, Dr. Manhattan creating worlds or something? I guess if they're trying to get a little bit closer to figuring out how our universe came about, you know? How the universe took shape, how it formed. How are you here instead of why are you here? How are you here? All right, and it just so happens to be going down on the solar eclipse on April 8th. Mm. I feel like I'm watching an X-Men episode from my childhood. It's like, who y'all trying to talk to? The Living Tribunal or something? Whatever. <laughs> so that's what's going on with the Large Hadron Collider. So what else is going on on April 8th? Well, NASA is going to be launching three rockets into space on the solar eclipse. Why? Because they want to study the ionosphere, the effect of the solar, the total solar eclipse, how it affects our ionosphere. So let me read a little bit from the actual article. Um, the sudden transition from day to night is known to cause sharp drops in temperature and even trick animals into engaging in nighttime behaviors. Ooh. But scientists understand little about how the brief moments of darkness influence the boundary between Earth's upper and lower atmosphere called the ionosphere, which extends between 55 to 310 miles above the planet's surface or 90 to 500 kilometers. So it says, let's see, if you think of the ionosphere as a pond with some gentle ripples on it, the eclipse is like a motorboat that suddenly rips through the water. Um, I do not know how to pronounce this uh, person's name. Aro Barjatya? Barjatya? Aro Barjatya? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. A professor of engineering and physics at Embry Riddle Aeronautical University said in a 2023 NASA article, it creates a wake immediately underneath and behind it, and then the water level momentarily goes up as it rushes back in. Let me continue. So, by launching three rockets before, during, and after the moon's shadow returns day into night on April 8th, NASA engineers hope to collect enough data to predict such disturbances which are known to interfere with both radio and satellite communications. Barjada had something else to say, all right? We are super excited to relaunch the rockets during the total eclipse to see if the perturbations start at the same altitude and if their magnitude and scale remain the same. We are going to see what's going on. So we got the space launch on April 8th, before, during, and after the solar eclipse. And we got CERN activating the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, my Lord, it's a lot. I wish I could call out of work. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. Um, let me know your thoughts on everything. You know, get ready for April 8th. We'll see what happens. <laughs> If this is your first time watching, thank you for watching. If this is your last time watching, thank you for watching. And I hope you all come back, right? All right. I'll see you next time. Peace.